Tia is asking for someone with basic skills and enthusiasm in R, um, how big is the, is the jump to SQL and Python? Great question. And spoiler alert, I've never written a line of R in my life, so I actually don't know the answer to that question. Um, what can I tell you? I can tell you that R is the most popular, if not second most popular language for doing data science outside of Python. I can tell you that syntactically it's, so from the sort of grammatical perspective, it's quite different from Python. Um, but there are some languages where it's very, very similar. So from what I understand, one of the large data science Python packages is called Pandas for working with tabular data, two-dimensional data, basically. And in that regard, R and Python share a lot of similarities. But hey, here's the general, here's the general point. Learning a coding language is like learning a natural language, right? So say you speak English and you want to learn uh, French, then uh, it's going to be really, really hard to learn your first foreign language. But if you want to learn maybe Italian after French, then it's going to be easier. And if you learn Spanish off that, it'll be even easier. So the more languages you learn, the natural language, the easier it is to, to learn the next one because you find the, the sort of core patterns in, in the human logic underlying it. And it's the same with coding. So if you know R, it's going to be easier for you to learn Python than if you were just learning Python from scratch. And if you learn Java and C Sharp on top of that, it's going to be even easier for you to, uh, to, to learn those languages. And the same goes for, for SQL as well. I hope that helped a little bit.